so it's almost baby time. I'm three weeks away from delivering and so I just feel like to be safe I need to pack my hospital bag and get everything um, organized and make sure that my bag is ready to go in case she decides to come early. Um, only one of my four babies have come early but I did panic when he did so I am trying to feel prepared with um, baby number five and having everything ready. So I thought I would walk you through um, all the items that I love to have with me at the hospital and why. And then at the end of the video, I'll do swipe up links for you in stories so that you can easily shop these items if you need any of them for yourself. This is my hospital bag that I love so much. You guys have heard me talk about it tons. Um, I used this one in gray for Goldie and I've used it for so many trips in the past two years. It's held up and looks brand new. I got a black one this time um, just to celebrate baby as a little spoiling gift to me. And um, I love these handles that you can carry it with, but then I also love the crossbody um, shoulder strap. Yeah, you can hold it either way. You can put your name and information on this little card. You can easily tuck into this front pocket. So it has a front pocket, a really nice zipper, deep, um, big side pockets, which is really nice. I always use those and then inside let me show you I love that these these can snap together too it makes it really nice um, But once you open it up it Has a huge opening which I love because it makes it easy to pack So once you open it up, you can see all the pockets inside it's huge <laughs> and I love that they're stretchy and washable, wipeable material. There's a leather pocket back here, um, two actually. So there's this one and then um, a zipper pocket, but this is the inside and I will show you what I'm going to fill it with. One thing I love that Fond Design has as well is their um, beautiful toiletry bags. So these just go inside there, the leather as well. This is where I put all of um, my toothbrush. Uh, light makeup that I bring and anything else that I want to keep tucked away Okay, there's my hospital bag and here's everything that I put in it and I'm gonna walk you through everything um, that I love and Everyone's different in what they like, but I'll just show you what I have liked in the past four times going to the hospital so I usually come wearing the same outfit that I go home in. So this is the everyday dress from Lulu. I'm obsessed with it. We are restocking these soon in so many colors. It's very, very comfortable and flattering to wear. It has this hidden zipper, so it makes nursing really easy in the hospital. And it's what I go home in as well. So um, I pack this and then I have two nursing bras. I'll link them for you. I love the ones off of Amazon. I use those every single time, so I'll look, link that five pack for you. As well as, um, these are from Target and they're so comfortable and I just think they fit me the best. And um, yeah, just the biggest bang for your buck, I feel like. And then I have never brought a big comfy robe, but I couldn't resist this at Target. It's so cozy, soft. Sometimes I'm hot in the hospital though, so I love a light knit robe. This is also from Target, just easy to nurse in, keeps me covered, um, but easy to do skin to skin in. And then I have one other outfit to wear in the hospital, usually after my first shower, it feels so good. I wear the hospital underwear that they give me, um, and then I just bring one pair of underwear to wear home underneath my everyday dress with my nursing bra. So. I definitely recommend using the hospital stuff versus your own, um, just so you don't have to pack home dirty laundry. They provide you with mesh underwear, which is honestly the best right after you deliver them for those first 48 um, to 72 hours when you're in the hospital. So I am a germaphobe and I don't like touching the hospital floors. So these are so comfy, these slippers. Um, they feel like clouds and you can also shower in them. So I usually bring a pair of flip flops to shower in but those will work this time and um, I like bringing a pair of flip-flops or slippers to wear in the hospital so that I don't have to put my feet on the ground these are I showed you already from Fond Design this is what I put my toiletries in so I usually keep it pretty simple and pack a mini um, shampoo and conditioner um, light makeup and uh, yeah any like wipes for my face to hurry and wipe myself down if I don't feel like getting up that these just hold all this hairbrush, anything like that. 
this is my back massager so it feels so good and especially after delivering i feel like i am a little bit sore jeff uses this meat on me all during pregnancy because he has to massage my back like a couple times um a day my back just gets so tight so that feels really good after delivery and especially when you're nursing and holding baby your shoulders can get really um, tight so i love that okay um these are earplugs because me and jeff i feel like this was a really great trick that i learned with goldie also if you like sleep masks i recommend bringing one of those but um, when you want to take a nap, sometimes it's noisy in the hospital. You can hear stuff in the hallway or people come in and clean your room or get the trash and you don't always have to wake up for it. And so by putting these in, I feel like I can take a really good nap. I always bring treats to snack on, gum, um, and yeah, I love Jolly Ranchers as well to suck on during labor. That's one of my labor tips is that you can't eat food. Um, so sucking on... Um, Jolly Ranchers was really great last time. I love having lip gloss. It makes me feel alive <laughs> um, at the hospital. Um, nipple cream. This is huge. So I usually use this Lansino brand, but um, I'm going to try Offspring this time as well. And this is so important if you're nursing to make sure that every time baby nurses to put cream on afterwards so you don't get sore because um, yeah, you get sore because you're feeding often in the hospital. So I bring um, breast pads, even though I'm not leaking milk or my milk hasn't come in usually by the time I leave the hospital. I like these because I'm putting this cream on and sometimes it gets my um, nursing bras like oily. So I like to just put this in between my nursing bra and me just because I'm putting this nipple cream on so frequently. And then this is awesome. This is from Haka. Let me try to open these and show you these. This is such a good invention and I'm pumped for this. So if you express any colostrum in the hospital, um, either by pumping, usually it's like drops um, or just a few mils. And so it's really nice to put it into this little flange right here. You just pop the top off and collect it. And then you put the top back on and you can just pop this little um, top off right here and you can squeeze this and feed it to baby. So you can feed um, your colostrum to baby. It makes it so easy and you get literally every single drop um, from you and then you can give it to baby. So I'm way excited to try these little things. Comes in a cute case and works really good. So this is Cover Your Asses. This is a card game. Um, I also sometimes bring like Sudoku puzzles. This is just for labor to um, help me get through <laughs> the long labors because I usually take a long time to deliver. We'll see this time, but it's fun for me and Jeff to play or stay entertained. I love this white noise machine. Um, should have done this with the earplugs, but I turn this on for me and Jeff to be able to sleep at nighttime so I don't hear the noises in the hallway. Um, and throughout the day it just kind of drowns it out and helps me to sleep so there's that love my stanley mug um the hospital gives you great mugs too so this is not a necessary thing but i love my ice water to stay cold and i feel like a lot of times i have to have them refill a lot during the day so this keeps it cold for a couple days so i can just dump my hospital mug into this and keep cold ice water because i drink so much in the hospital I bring my laptop and just if we want to watch movies or edit photos for baby, this is my charger with an extra long cord. Look how big that cord is. But it charges my computer and my phone at the same time. And so I love that. And I think outlets sometimes at the hospital are hard to come by or they're far away. So having that extra long cord, I'll link it for you, is really handy. So. These are all the things I take for me. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys to see. I try to be very minimal with my hospital bag because you really don't need much. The hospital um, provides you with so much for yourself. Um, so pads, underwear, all of your sprays and aftercare um, items, they provide for you. So this is the minimum stuff and I feel like the least you bring in, the better. So I just try to keep me and baby packed in this. I don't bring my diaper bag. I just bring a hospital bag.
I hope that video was helpful to you. <laughs> um, packing a hospital bag is one of the most exciting things. It means you're almost there. You've made it through nine months of pregnancy and now you're ready to meet your baby. So I hope those ideas um, that I pack gave you um, some clarity on what you need to bring and what you can leave behind. And uh, I hope that you have the best time delivering your baby and please, um, comment below with anything if you've already delivered. What was a lifesaver last time? We love sharing with our um, mama community here on Lulu and inspiring others and helping each other out. So I will do a part two of what I brought for baby. I include it in my um, hospital bag. I don't bring a separate diaper bag to the hospital just because you don't need it, but I will show you what I'm including for baby on the next video.